The source of the well-known image is the Dharma Flower Sutra, Sudama Pundarika Sutra. A reference to the same analogy is found further on in the verse commentary. Partial truth with, with residue is just a conjured city. They stand there at that empty and false place, cultivating the contemplation of the emptiness of analyzed dharmas. That is what is called superficial prana, not profound prana. Cultivators of superficial prana can end the birth and death of their delimited segment. Sanskrit bhajitsha, Chinese fen duan, literally shared section. But they are unable to transcend the birth and death of the fluctuations. Sanskrit parinama, Chinese pian yi. What is meant by these two kinds of birth and death? The first refers to the body and the second to thoughts. Everyone has a body. You have yours, I have mine. Everyone has his own share. The body is a share and one lifetime from birth to death is called a section. It could also be said that everyone has his own form section. You are five feet tall, he is five foot six inches, and that person is six feet tall. Each person has his own section. So this is the birth and death of one's share section or delimited segment. The holy ones is the fourth stage of Ahashib have ended the birth and death of their delimited segments, but they have not yet ended the birth and death of fluctuations. Fluctuations refers to the transformations which are the source of the birth and death of the delimited segment, because the birth and death of fluctuations refers to nothing more than all the various false thoughts. The false thoughts flow along. One thought ceases to exist and the next thought is born. Then that thought ceases to exist and a third is born and so forth. That kind of successive production and extinction is also the kind of birth and death. But the fourth stage of a hardship, false thinking has not been extinguished entirely. The stage of the Bodhisattva of the Mahayana, the great vehicle, must be reached in order to put an end to the birth and death of fluctuations. Then there are no more false thoughts. The birth and death of fluctuations is at the root of our birth and death. Why is it that we are born and then die? Only because we have false thoughts. And where do the false thoughts come from? From ignorance. It is because there is ignorance that all false thoughts are produced. For bodily drama emptiness, the fourth kind of emptiness is cultivated by the conditioned enlightened ones, the Pratika Buddhas who have the bodily experience of the emptiness of dharmas. Five true emptiness. Bodhisattvas cultivate the contemplation of the emptiness of wonderful existence. Whenever Lotikesh Nkiteshvara Bodhisattva was practicing the profound prana paramita, he was cultivating the contemplation of the emptiness of wonderful existence. When he illuminated the five skandhas and saw that they are all empty, he was cultivating at the level reached by profound prana with the ability obtained from profound prana. Practice the way, cultivate yourself and do not search outside. If you wish to cultivate the way, don't look outside yourself, for outside there is nothing to be sought. You should search within your own nature. The prana of your own nature is a deep and secret cause, means that deep within your own nature lies in secret seed. White below saw to the heavens, the black wave sees. When one cultivates the way, the white belows, which are like waves of rolling water, are wisdom, and the black waves are affliction. When affliction has ceased, your wisdom soars on high. Thus the profound prana paramita which the bodhisattva practices is both high and deep. It is deep because when you are in that high place, you look down and don't see anything at all. Nirvana, the other shore, effortlessly is climbed. 
With wisdom, you can very naturally stretch the other straw of nirvana very, very easily. Very, very naturally, you get to the other straw without any need to spend any effort at all. Time again, time and again, don't miss the chance. The time when we cultivate the way is the most precious, and so don't let it go by emptily. Time and again, time and again, don't let the time in which we should cultivate prana paramita go by emptily. Don't let it go by. Care for it. Be diligent. Take hold of the divine innocence. When you are filled with the energy and alive with spirit, you should not forget to pay attention. You should not let that time go by because that is the time to cultivate and to attain true prana, the doctrine of the divine innocence. Tian Chen, the natural spontaneity that sage and child alike possess. Unclear mirage. Thus the news arrives. The events are likened to an unclear mirage. You wish to see them, yet you look at them and don't see them. You listen, yet you don't hear anything. At the time when you sing, your singing is like an unclear mirage. You get a little news. Now it's there. Now it's not. See what is originally esteemed. You look and say what you see is real. But it doesn't seem to have any perceptible characteristic. Then you say it doesn't have any perceptible characteristic. Yet it seems like you are seeing something. What you see is what is originally esteemed your own nature. Sutra. He illuminated the five skandhas and saw that they are all empty. Verse. The three lights shine everywhere. Permitting the three forces, the one returns to the place of union, yet the one comes forth again. See that form is emptiness, and that feeling is the same way. Forms thus are the shifting currents, while formation is the the arranger of karma. With consciousness which understands differences, the five shadows are completed. Mirror flowers and water moon beyond defiling dust. Emptiness is not empty. The great function of clarity. Vision is yet not a view. Happiness indeed. Commentary: The three lights shine everywhere, permitting the three forces. The three lights are the sun, the moon, and the stars, which illuminate everything in the universe and thoroughly penetrate the three forces. Of heaven, earth, and humanity, the three lights are also the lights of wisdom, the light of the prana of language, the light of the prana of contemplative illumination, and the light of the prana of the characteristic of actuality. The three are also said to be the symbolic red, white, and purple lights. The light of true prana of the characteristic of actuality is a very deep prana light by which Avalokiteshvara Bodhisattva illuminated the five skandhas and saw that they are all empty. With the three kinds of light, he illuminates every place in the heavens and on earth, and the lights permit the three motive forces. The one returns to the place of union, yet the one comes forth again. The one refers to one's own nature. The place of union is where one's own nature dwells. Basically, it is this: ten thousand dramas return to one. One returns to unity. So says the verse about Shen Kuang, also known as Hui Kuo, was the second patriarch of the Chang school of Buddhism in China. Ten thousand dramas return to one. The one returns to unity. Shen Guang didn't understand and ran after Bodhimanda, Bodhidharma. Before him, by Bear Ear Mountain, knelt nine years seeking Dharma to escape King Yama. The one that the ten thousand Dharmas return to is the mind of nature of each individual. The the one returning to unity is the uniting with the Buddha nature. 
After uniting with the Buddha nature, the one comes forth again. This is the giving birth to the wonderful functioning of the one, which is the Buddhahood you realize. The one that comes forth again is just you. This Buddha, see that form is emptiness and feeling is the same way. You can see form, yet it is fundamentally empty. The sutra says that form itself is emptiness. What does this mean? We common people are attached to form, to a general form body in which the many kinds of form dharmas are united. This is what we call our physical body. How can we say that the form body is empty? Someone says, it's really here. It wears clothes, eats, sleeps. So how can it be empty? When you understand how form can exist, you can be empty. I spoke earlier about the emptiness of analyzed dramas. The body is analyzed as a summation of the characteristics of form which are united together. This is the way it is. Earth, water, fire and wind, the four great elements, Mahabuddha, are the differentiated characteristics of form. The form body comes into being when earth, water, fire and wind unite. The skin, flesh, muscles and bones of our bodies are the great element earth. The saliva, urine, excrement, water and sweat are the great element water. The heat of our bodies is the great element fire and the circulation of the breath is the great element wind. The four great elements unite to become a body and when they separate, the body is destroyed. Each of the four elements returns to its original position, which is emptiness. Most people are attached to the body as me. That's wrong. The body is not me. Then what is me, you ask? You can control your body and have the perceptions of seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, touching, and knowing. It is the perception nature which is me. So then what is the body? One can only say this body is mine, not this body is me. The body is like a house. You live in a house, but you do not say this house is me. If you were to say that, everyone would laugh their teeth right out of their mouths. But when you refer to your body as me, most people don't laugh because they also live with the same Supposi uh, supposition, but it is just the same as supposing that your house is you. Because you live in a body house, you say it is you. In the body, there are seeing, smelling, hearing, tasting, feeling, and knowing. But are those the Buddha nature? It is the Buddha nature which is you. The body comes into being merely through the gathering together of conditioned causes. If the conditioned causes set themselves up in, the di in a different manner, then the form body disperses. That is the reason one cannot say, my body is me. One can only say, it is mine. This is my body and I can disown it or exchange it for another. You have that kind of authority. But you yourself don't know it yet because you live in the house. You don't know about the events which go on outside. You still suppose this house is me. Don't perceive the house as being you. If we take a look into form and analyze it, form itself is empty. It doesn't exist. Therefore, it follows that emptiness can be changed into form drama. How does the change take place? Earth, water, fire, and wind merge to become a body. It has been said that God created people. His work of creation was just a matter of putting earth, fire, water, and wind together. If we use earth, fire, water, and wind, we can also create a person and a lot of people. Anybody could do it. A few materials are used and a person is created. When the conditioned causes come together, a person comes into being. When the conditioned causes disperse, the person ceases to exist. If you understand that form itself is the emptiness, then you shouldn't perceive the body as me. It is only a possession. 
It just belongs to me. But here, especially, you should not be attached. If you take the attitude that the body is what I have, then you will want to have it a lot, and you will make your mind your body slave. Here, mind means your awakened mind, which can understand that your body is a form dharma and thereby unreal. Therefore, don't be attached to it. Destroy the form skanda, and the form skanda will be empty. See that form is emptiness, and feeling is the same way. Feeling the second of the five skandhas is like form is empty. Form's thoughts are the shifting currents. This refers to the cognition skanda, while formation is the arranger of karma. This is the formation skanda. The karma created from formation is arranged together in an orderly fashion with consciousness which understands differences. The consciousness skanda is a fine discrimination and understanding of differences. The five shadows are completed. Form, feeling, cognition, formation, and consciousness are the five skandhas, which are often represented in Chinese by the character yin, which literally means shadow. Mirror flowers and water moon beyond defiling dust, the five skandhas Form, feeling, thought, formation, and consciousness are like flowers reflected in a mirror, or like the image of the moon on the surface of the water. No dust at all defines them, for the five skandhas are all empty. Emptiness not empty, the great function of clarity. When you don't understand clearly that the five skandhas are all empty, there is affliction, false thinking, and trouble. It is just within clarity about the five skandhas that you turn your consciousness around to realize wisdom. Doing just that is the especially great and wonderful function in which you then understand. Vision is yet not a view, happiness indeed. True emptiness it produces wonderful existence. The production of wonderful existence has a great use. Vision is yet not a view, means that then your seeing is the same as not seeing. When you are unaffected by this kind of experience, you attain genuine happiness. Therefore, the verse says, happiness indeed. According to the text textual variant, the second line of the verse reads, to what so the one return. The quotation is from Tao Yuan Ming's celebrated poem, Returning Home. In the poem, the poet talks about returning from an official position which he felt compromised his principles.